Hey everyone, welcome back to the channel and you meet me out in the woods of Kelling Heath. I'm actually here for a star party and I've brought something along with me that I'm going to have to actually keep under wraps because it's currently the 16th of September and this little thing is not released properly until the 29th of September. So I'm going to have to use it covertly and not give away any secrets. So this is the Vespera 2 by Vionis and I've featured this before on my channel and as smart telescopes go it was one of the better experiences. I found the software to be really good and the product itself of premium quality and I was able to actually capture some decent images with it. Now I'm a astrophotographer that likes all of the equatorial mounts and all the complexities of the equipment that comes with it so I'm not going to be uh, just a smart telescope user I am you know deep in the hobby I love all the gear I'm a proper gearhead and I love all the complexities of it so I'm not changing from that but when you're traveling around uh, moving about you know it's nice to take my DSLRs with me but to actually have something like this which is super portable is actually a real bonus. So what's different about this to the Vespera 2 that I had before? This is a limited edition that Vespera are about to release and I'm going to share it with you. So stick around and I hope you enjoy the video. My name's Glenn and you're watching Astrobloke. So what Vionis have decided to do is bring out a limited edition called the X edition. I'm assuming X standing for X-ray because this is a completely transparent case showing all of the complexities and workings of their smart telescope, the Vespera 2. And I must say, I'm really quite, quite impressed with it. I like it. I mean... I think it's really unusual. I know it's not going to be everyone's cup of tea, but you know, I love all of the sort of workings of things and all of the, the little bits that go into the components and that. And this is really different. I mean, let's be honest, there's nothing else on the market that looks like this. Um, as for performance, it's exactly the same as the uh, Vespera 2 that you can currently buy that comes in a white shell um, and, and that's a lovely looking piece of kit but this is really interesting to see what's actually inside it. So what are the specs of the Vionis Vespera 2? The Vionis Vespera 2 is based around the popular Sony IMX 585 sensor. This is a one shot colour sensor with 8.2 megapixels of resolution. The pixel size is 2.39 and the optics are made up of a 50mm Petzval apochromatic quadruplet refractor. Try saying that when you've had a few beers. It gives you a focal length of 250mm at a speed of f5 which is equivalent to say the William Optics Red Cat. The internal battery will run for about four hours from being fully charged, but add a battery pack to this through the USB-C at the bottom here, and you're good to go as long as you want. You've also got 25 gigabytes of internal storage, so you're easily able to capture a few nights of data, no problem at all, and then you can download that off, but you can save directly to whatever device you're using to control it, whether that be um, a smartphone or an iPad, something along those lines. You actually had three options with the images that this will capture. You can save them as 16-bit FITS files or TIFF or JPEGs. What's brilliant about this is its portability. I mean, it's not the smallest thing in the world, but it's, it packs up really neat. Um, nice small tripod. We hear that I've got carbon fibre tripod but the weight of this thing is five kilograms. So that makes it extremely portable. You've got, you haven't got to worry about anything like counterweights, but let's be honest, you don't really have that with smart telescopes anyway. 
What's also lovely is you haven't got to worry about things like polar alignment. When you initialize the scope, it will look up into the sky, it will work out where it is, and it will know where the targets are from that location. So what I've found with this is that if you find a target that you're interested in, it will do a live stack. So it will get on the target, it will track it, and it will start taking images. And while those images are coming in, it constantly stacks them. So you see the image growing. And you can use it just for that, just for observing and seeing something uh, in a little bit more detail than what you'll see with the naked eye. But also, you can take those files and get them transferred to your device, which you can end up putting them on your PC. And I actually found that if you take the individual images and stack them through your own software, and I personally use Astro Pixel Processor or PixInsight, depending on my mood, you get much better results. And then once you run the image through some post-processing, you can really draw out some lovely detail. And these are extremely capable. Um, and uh, so for somebody looking to start out in the hobby of astrophotography, and you might be, say, a little bit daunted by all of the gear and choices that there are, smart telescopes are an excellent introduction. They're, you know, they, they pack up small, they're nice and portable, they're really easy to use. And you'll find that if after using one of these you really have got the bug and you want to go further, then you can step into the things that I do where you've got full equatorial mounts and guiding and etc. There's lots, lots to the hobby. And that's definitely part of the appeal for me. All of the learning that's required uh, in astrophotography, there are so many different elements that you need to bring together to be able to capture a lovely image. But these things do a lot of the hard work for you um, and you can just plop them down, turn them on and get them going. They really are good and I would highly recommend something like this to somebody starting out. So that's the scope and that's the specs of it. But we can sit here and talk about it all day long. Let's be honest, we want to see it in action doing its thing. So let's get a dark sky, let's get it up and let's see what we can see through this telescope. So as you can see, I got to use the Vespera X edition here and I was able to capture the M13 
a great Hercules cluster and also some nice shots of the moon. I did want to get some solar but unfortunately the weather just has not cooperated with me and there's just been too much cloud about. Um, I have have done some deep sky objects before uh, with this model and I'll show you one here which is the Rosette Nebula which I really did like and it just shows the capability of this piece of equipment. I've never actually done much solar at all, but I have seen some lovely solar images. And here is one that I found on Facebook by a user called Jeff Perdue. I'm sure he won't mind me sharing the image as it is a really great solar image and just shows again the capability of the Vespera. So that concludes my uh, coverage of this rather unique looking scope. So the Vespera 2 is a great smart telescope as I say I've used one before really enjoyed the experience um, the X edition is just something unique to own if you're interested in getting something that's a little bit different and there will only obviously be a limited number of these then it might be worth purchasing the price of this is around two thousand pounds I believe it's available from First Light Optics in the UK, but I think you can buy directly from Vionis. I think there's a small saving there because they've got free delivery. But have a shop around and see what you can find. But uh, if you've got any questions, please put them in the comments section below and I'll answer them as best I can. Um, I do have to return this to Vionis, which are, uh, yep, yeah, um, I'll be sad to do but until then I will try and play a bit more with it and see if I can produce a really nice image to share with you all so that you can enjoy it as much as I have using it. Anyway, until next time, please take care and I'd like to wish you all clear skies. <music>